Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. Tough loss for Lafayette last week against Colgate. They were right there, but a few mistakes in the middle of the game cost them that game. They had a 17-0 lead, but they need to put that behind them right now, move on. Everything is still lies ahead of them. And what lies ahead of them this week is the best passing offense in the league in Fordham. Fordham does a great job. For Lafayette, they're going to need to score points, and they're going to need to score touchdowns, not field goals. So we're going to talk about red zone today, being good in the red zone. Well, what does that take? The keys for me in the red zone is, number one, you got to be able to run the football. And Lafayette had a first and goal with the five in overtime against Colgate, couldn't get the ball in the end zone after two tries running the football. And what does that take running the football? For Lafayette, again, they do a lot of this tight end wing in action where they bring in two uh, two tight ends and they go to 21 personnel. Again, that, in that situation right there, you need a big back. And right now, Lafayette without Curtis having uh, the ability to make those moves in the hole, make somebody miss, the more guys get added to the box. So if you separate and get situations here where you got too many guys in the box, add a safeties in, you're going to be tough to, to run the football. So that little zone read and the zone keep by the quarterback just didn't have enough this week. So what I'm thinking here is we're going to need to get guys like uh, Gilbert, maybe get him in motion to create some trips to the outside, maybe get somebody outside the box, still create five or six in the box, still get some good double teams, and then let these running backs do their work. You can't press and be too fast to the hole, but you got to be through, uh, fast through the hole. So again, creating some separation, trying to get guys out. Continue to spread teams out. Maybe go to that double stack situation here where you're, again, getting guys out of the box, getting linebackers, nickels to remove from the box, getting five or six in the box and be able to get there in. So running the football strong with the zone read, maybe coming off that with some different things, but you need to be able to run the football in the red zone to create touchdowns. The other thing is taking first down shots. Find out what you have in the secondary. So if you have a man-to-man -man situation where they're going to load the box and you're going to get a safety down and it's all one-on-one -on -one out here, maybe get somebody over the top on a stick shot, somebody to the goal line on a little whip route to the outside, creating some sort of high-low in the end zone. Maybe a stop route on the outside and the fade or the corner route or smash to the end zone. So again, first down shots coming off the play action, coming off the RPO, the slants have been good. And maybe again, Lafayette's been good on some of those takeoffs with Carasia and Stewart again. So first down shots, best time to throw the football in the red zone is on first down. You don't want to complete, get yourself to a third and long situation. Make sure that you can throw the ball on first down and then touchdowns, not field goals. Anytime you get that ball inside the five yard line, first and goal, you've got to be strong enough inside to run it and then be able to get on the corner with your quarterback who has the ability to run the football touchdowns, not field goals. So important to convert in the red zone this week. Lafayette with a big, big game here Saturday against Fordham.